That's a fiery place to live. The highest love probably burns up a lot of things that don't belong that can make us very uncomfortable. I had a conversation with someone just the other day who's talked about the constant transformational cycle where things, things come up for us to look at. And while they're never comfortable, for those of us who are consciously deciding to be the emanation of the highest love, we say thank you. Thank you for the fact that I can look at whatever it is that needs to be burned up so that something, this angel of light, is visible and making an invitation to a clean place, a clean heart, a clean, loving embrace. But it is the priority of standing in the reality that allows the other things that need to fall away to fall away and the other things that need to fit to fit. There are many things that we have put as a priority and said, this is what's real, when in fact it's just a a tumbling stone that didn't need to stay in our life or more importantly in our heart. And many of the things that are rocks in our heart are emotional things that we have started to identify with instead of allowing them to move along so that the angel of light and the core of who we are as a being gets to be radiantly present. So as we move forward into the rest of this service hour and into this week, I say, where are you? Where do you want to be? When someone comes looking for the answer, are you hiding because you don't want to be found? Is that what you came on earth to do? To hide and live an isolated life so that you might protect yourself from the world as opposed to embrace the world, serve the world, love the world, and bring the world into the incredible thing you know? It does take some honesty about what you know. You cannot be inviting someone to say, come here, I really have no idea what I'm doing. You can, but then the invitation really is, come unto me and let's figure it out. It's not about um, denying that something glorious is happening. Something magnificent is happening right here, and I'm part of it, and so are you. And I need you, and you need me. We were designed to do this together. Where are you?